Well, just think of all the planning that goes into a wedding. Now, imagine a guy proposing to his girlfriend and getting married to her in a surprise wedding all on the same day. Who does that? Take a look. I hear my girlfriend say that her dream was to get engaged and married on the same day. Now, my first thought was, what in the world? What does that even mean? How does that, you know, how does that even work? It dawned on Ryan Leake that in order to get engaged and marry Amanda on the same day, he would have to plan the entire wedding in secret. I began doing recon work and began telling a few friends that, that I was gonna need some help to be able to pull this thing off. Man, is this for real? In their book, The One, Ryan and Amanda share their path to marriage and how every amazing love story really starts with you. And please welcome the couple whose wedding video got 1.3 million hits, Ryan and Amanda Lee. Guys, welcome to the show. Oh, we're Thanks glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Well, Amanda, this really all started with you. Ryan overheard a conversation you were having with a girlfriend, and you said, I want to get married. I'd like to get engaged and married on the same day. First of all, why would you want to do that? No, it's a really crazy idea. Um, the friend I was sitting down with is actually a wedding planner. And so she was telling me, everybody thinks it's so glamorous and you end up in a closet trying to scarf down a bagel because you have no energy and the bride's on edge. <laughs> and I just thought about myself and how crazy it would be that day and just you know trying to get everything together. And I just kind of nonchalantly said, you know, it'd be really cool to get engaged and married on the same day. Well, Ryan took it seriously. And how did you have any idea what kind of wedding Amanda would want? You know, when she first said it, it was it was kind of shocking, but it, it sounded cool. It sounded interesting. Didn't know if that meant that I would actually have to plan it or what that would look like. And so uh, neither one of our families came from a ton of money. So we knew that the wedding would be on us. So I said, hey, why don't you write out everything that you would want in a wedding so that we could begin saving up? Which didn't for a seem that unusual because you guys had been dating at that time about yeah. three, three or four years. Yes, huh? exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. and you'd been talking about the future. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't so like was you definite. didn't have any, you know, signals that he was doing this. No, I was in school full time and working full time. Um, and so obviously I was thinking, oh, I wonder when he's going to propose. I wonder where it's going to be at. But I never once thought that my boyfriend was planning a wedding. But Ryan, you almost had a meltdown right before the wedding. What happened? Almost. No, I had a meltdown <laughs> for sure. I mean, whenever you're planning something of this magnitude, I've, I've been in 12 Something's weddings. Go wrong. Right. Yeah. In all 12 weddings that I've been in, none of them have gone perfect. So you know that the plans aren't going to be perfect. But I had no anticipation that her flight would get canceled to Miami. And so all of our family and friends have arrived except Amanda. She doesn't know that she's getting married. So she has no urgency to get to <laughs> Miami. Oh, my yeah, canceled, no big exactly. deal. And you're like freaking out. <laughs> yeah, she's walking around the airport with so, Starbucks, you know. <laughs> So you get her on a midnight flight, she gets in, mm -hmm. whoosh, okay, that's yeah. done, she's there. Um, you've flown in every family member and friend, mm -hmm. um, and, and the next morning you propose to Amanda <laughs> yeah. at the yeah. hotel, like seven in the morning? What, what, yeah, how like, early was it? Yeah, about 8 a.m. Yeah. Man, huh? you guys must be morning people. <laughs> All right, so you're getting proposed to, mm -hmm. you had no idea, what was your, what was going through your mind? So initially he proposed and I, always said I would never say, is this for real? And I ended up saying it. Um, <laughs> and then afterwards, I'm just in shock. You're just kind of in a trance. And Ryan is very quickly rushing me to the next spot. And I'm looking at him and thinking, what, what else do we have to do today? This is the best moment of our lives. And little did I know, he takes me to uh, a hall. And a 100 of our family and friends were there. And they all yelled, today. And they had a big sign that spelled out today with a question Crazy. mark. And he said, will you marry me today? Today. Mm -hmm. Day. And yeah. were you thinking back to the time you told your friend, is it all coming <laughs> yes. back to you now? Did I really say I wanted to get yes, engaged? Yes. And, and of course you said yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how did you feel during the wedding? I mean, yeah. how did your dress get there? I mean, yeah. Ryan, did you, you pack the dress? I didn't pack the dress, but you could tell the story. Yeah. yeah. So he had all of my friends and family in on this. Okay. And so they were telling me, you know, you're going to get married. It takes almost a year to find a dress. Let's just start looking. And so a friend of mine said, let's just go look. So we went to, um, to look and I found the dress I wanted and uh, Ryan ended up purchasing it. And my friend stole it from my closet and flew it to Florida with her. 
and uh, kind of snuck it in the hotel too. So, oh, and by the way, the ring looked pretty nice. Can we oh. take, can we take a look at that? Oh my Thank goodness! You. Wow! Can we just please like do that, <laughs> Manny Cam? <laughs> um, ooh, I'm getting off track now. All right, so. Let's talk about a little bit before you got married, though. I mean, yeah. dating five years, and your relationship went through some rocky times. And we were looking at this, what we yeah. what looks like a perfect love story, but it really wasn't up until the time you got married. What happened? Absolutely. Well, uh, we started off super hot. I mean, it was, I knew within the first three days, I called my brother and sister-in-law, and I said, she's the one. Like, I'm, wow. I'm going to marry her. There's no doubt about it. That's and amazing. we'll probably be married within a year. And so... Uh, we were long distance the whole time. I had one year left of college. I went back. I told everybody, hey, I'm off the market. I'm graduating. I'm getting married. And one day she gives me a phone call and just says, hey, uh, we can't be together anymore. And I was stunned and didn't really know why. But um, yeah. in the Puerto Rican culture, there can be um, not racism, but sometimes Puerto Ricans simply want their kids to marry Puerto, Puerto Ricans. Ricans. So it wasn't that I was black, it was that I was not Puerto Rican right. at the time. And so that was, uh, that was very, very challenging. And so one of the ways that we were able to get through that were two things is one, we had really, really great mentors that were able to speak into our lives um, during that time to kind of help us get back on track. And then the second thing is, I think you just have to have confidence in who you are. You have to have confidence that God has called you to be somebody and you have to walk in that and walk in those shoes and you can't always listen to other people. But your mom is totally on board now, right? Absolutely. <laughs> We're best friends. Yes, she calls and asks about Ryan sometimes more than me, Aww. but that's fine. That's, that's, how it <laughs> yeah. that's how it works. Yeah. Well, you guys have written an amazing book called um, uh, The One, yeah. An Amazing Love Story Starts With You, and you also speak to singles. Yeah. Uh, what's the number one thing you tell them, um, you know, about looking for their mate? Yeah. Well, the book, the kind of the premise of the book is that, you know, so often we look for the one um, and it's so important to become the one um, that that person might be looking for. And so we say in your single life, go, do, uh, travel the world. We have an amazing friend who was single and she just said, you know what, I'm just going to give up year of my life. I'm going to go to India. Mm -hmm. And she's wow. spending a year in India. And so when she gets back, she has no idea, but when she sits down with somebody and they say, so what have you been doing for a year? She can have a million stories to tell, and she just added so much value to her personal life and becoming the one. Right. And yeah. so, what's um, the latest development in your marriage is a new baby. Yeah. yeah. Seven months old? Seven, Seven months, months old. What's his name? Jackson, Jackson Carter. Carter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds very presidential. He, he can well, be. You know, he can be a president yeah. or an actor, whatever or he needs to be. Or or just whatever he wants to be. Mm -hmm. We had to pick a good name. <laughs> And of course, your your wedding video is still out there going viral and people yeah. just getting inspired because, you know, it's, it's a great story and uh, and it, with a very happy ending. And that's yeah. well, the ending is still to be told. So, yeah, we'd like to encourage people. You know, we feel like so many people when it comes to relationships, they're trying to figure so much out like it's this grand formula. Mm -hmm. But we just feel like. Your amazing love story does really begin with you. And the day that you wake up and decide to really be you and that you're not trying to impress anybody is one of the greatest days of your life. And who wouldn't want to be married to that person or who wouldn't want to stay married to the person that is simply trying to work on them all the time? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, guys, thank you so much. Ryan and Amanda's book is called The One, and it's available where books are sold. God bless you, and thanks for sharing thank your you story. Thank you so much, Wendy. We appreciate it. so great it. to see you.